Hi friends, I'm going to Mexico City and that means I need to pack my bag with all of my camera gear, tech gear to make sure that I have what I need on this trip. But wait a minute, this isn't, this is the wrong bag. I think, I think I gotta get rid of this one here. There we go. This is the bag we're packing today. This is the new brevity bag. The old one that just got knocked out of the way, I've had since 2016 and it's been an amazing bag and traveled all over the world with me. But Brevity was so nice, they sent out this new one for me to check out and I'm very excited to take it on its first trip, pack it up and just see some of the iterations and improvements that they've made over the years because it's been a while and they've learned a few things and I'm excited to get into it. So let's talk about the bag first, then we'll get into the camera gear that I'm putting in it because there are some nuances and differences to what I've brought on trips in the past. So make sure and stick around to kind of see what I'm bringing for this trip. I'm taking a look at this bag, a couple of key features that I really like, improvements that they've made over the years, is really cleaning some things up. This backpack doesn't look like a camera bag and neither did the other one, but the other one had a lot more going on and they've cleaned all of those up without losing features and that's pretty amazing. So on the old bag, it had a big flap over here and all of your buckles to kind of keep that secure and your zippers, honestly a lot of times would kind of get in the way of each other. So they've cleaned that up you have all of these different zippers here for the front pouch. You have all sorts of slots here to put things in. That, that zipper, as well as the main compartment zipper, if I can make sure and grab the right one. Open up, you get your camera access right there. Those zippers don't get in the way of each other, as well as the top flap, because there is no top flap. You have a separate zipper that accesses this top pocket, and you even have another little pocket on the inside there, which we'll get to in a minute. Now you can access your camera gear through the front, but you also have a little camera access on the side if you just want quick access there. Honestly, not something that I use a ton of, but it is nice to have just in those quick pinches. And now on the other side, you have what can be either a water bottle slot or a tripod slot, depending on how you want it to set up. You do also on the bottom have a slot to put the tripod if you also wanna carry a tripod and water bottle. Moving to the back, there's a couple of cool features here that I really like. Is a separate, totally separate zippered area for either a laptop or in my case, an iPad. The old bag did have a slot for that, but it was in, in the main compartment with everything else. This just keeps it completely separate so you know it's not getting scratched up or anything like that. They've also added a little pocket here that this can fit either your phone or because I'm going to Mexico City, this is going to be my passport slot. And then going through the airport, there is a luggage slot so you can put this right over top the handle of your roller luggage and not have to be carrying it on your back the whole time. Another thing that they've cleaned up that I really, really like is kind of how the straps actually attach to the bag. On the old bag, it was more rugged, I guess, in terms of it had like a waist strap and a chest strap and things but really I didn't use those a whole lot. And I just had the straps kind of like rolled up and tucked in the pockets. I didn't use them literally ever. So getting those kind of out of the way, cleaning up, just again, making it a little bit more minimal is everything that I need. And I'm really excited to use this bag. So if you are interested in this bag, as I'm going through and packing it up, showing you how much can actually fit in here, go ahead and check out brevity.com slash Aaron Ross. You can go ahead and pick up your own bag there. And again, thank you Brevity for sending this out. Definitely appreciate it. But now let's get to actually packing this thing up and showing you what camera gear I'm bringing. All right, I got this flipped open. We're gonna start talking about the gear that's going inside. First up is my Fuji X-T3. This is my main camera, mostly used for photos as well as vlogging. My wife and I have a different travel channel that we do a lot of videos on. So I'll be using this camera for both of those things. And that means I have a lens on here. It's actually a new lens that I'll have a couple of videos coming out on. This is the Fuji 10 to 24. Uh, this is gonna be our first trip with it, using it for vlogging. It's nice and wide, so excited for that. But has some versatility because it is a zoom. Historically, been using some other lenses for that and excited to get kind of used to this one and testing this out. So make sure and hit subscribe because again, I do have a video planned talking about vlogging on Fuji and which lenses make the most sense for that uh, as I'm kind of testing some things out and I wanna share that experience with you. So both of these are just gonna kind of stay as one unit and go ahead and slide in there. And then a couple of other lenses that I'm going to bring. I have two prime lenses. This is the 
23 millimeter f2 and the 35 millimeter f2 these are both extremely small compact prime lenses and i just think they're both very sharp i like the looks of them and so i'm going to bring both of these along you'll notice the 23 is a little bit redundant because i do have 24 millimeters and therefore 23 millimeters covered on the other lens although I know the size is a little bit different and so I'm interested to see if I ever pull this out because this is my first trip bringing both lenses. So we'll kind of see how that plays out. This might end up staying back in future trips. Now this is also a different lens. This is a Nikon lens. It's a 35 millimeters to 80 millimeters. It's an f4 to 5.6. I have it on a little photo -see converter from Nikon to Fuji so I can use this. It is manual focus but it's gonna give me a little bit of reach as I kind of do some photos. I don't anticipate doing a lot of video with this. I might, but it will just be more like B-roll clips. And again, it's manual focus, so it's definitely not wide enough to do vlogging or things like that, but it's something that I wanna experiment a little bit with. It's a nice light lens, and I don't think it's gonna be the sharpest thing in the world, but something that I think might have a little bit of character, and I'm excited to see how that does in Mexico City. So I've heard it's pretty bright and vibrant. So that's going in the bag as well. And then two other things camera related and then we'll get into some of the other accessories is the Osmo Action. This is still the first Osmo Action. I continue to love this camera. It has not failed me and it's coming with. So until it does, no reason to upgrade. Just kind of goes with you everywhere, especially in water. And I use it a couple of ways on a gator clip that I can clip to a bunch of things. Sometimes a strap here on the bag, if I have a hat or I'm kayaking or something like that, as well as a little tripod. This will get used as the vlogging cam as well. I can hold that out and just get the camera a nice wide angle. And so I use this little Manfrotto Pixie tripod. I believe that's what it's called. Manfrotto Pixie? Yeah. Both of these can slide right into the side here and have nice little space for both of those. But that does it for the main camera compartment. I close that up. And what else comes with me? Earlier I mentioned my iPad, so that definitely comes. I can now use a dedicated slot for that. So I do all of my photo editing, especially on the go, as well as video editing on here. I've started using DaVinci Resolve for iPad, as well as using that on my Mac Mini here in the office. And it's nice to be able to have the same system on both and be able to move projects when I'm either on the go and then I can get back here and do some things on the bigger monitor. So that is going to slide right in there. Again, like I said, this is Mexico City. It is international. So the, the passport is gonna come with me. And that means I get to utilize this little passport slot. There is one other thing in here though, tucked away. That's an air tag. This is just something to keep track of my bag in case it gets swiped. I think this pocket is one that will not get checked as quickly. So something to kind of keep track of things and know in case it gets lost in the airport, gets kind of picked up somewhere else that I have at least some chance of tracking it down and getting some things back. Now getting to accessories and how those are gonna pack in here. This is a relatively like decent size, but it's not the the, a big massive pocket here. So you have to be a little thoughtful about the other things you wanna bring with you and what goes up front. So this is the case for the earth ND filters that I use. I have the 72 millimeter that goes on the 10 to 24, as well as, forget what size this one is, 58 millimeters that goes on some of my other lenses and step up rings for both of the 32 and the 23 and 35 millimeter. So that will go ahead and slide up front. Some nice little pockets for that to fit in. If you've followed my channel before and seen some of these packing videos, you know that I use these nice, fun, bright, colorful makeup bags as my battery system. So all of the fully charged batteries go in here and the dead need to be charged batteries go in here. Just kind of a nice way to keep them separate, know what's what and where to find the batteries that I need. And then this Cotopaxi bag, this has a basically just all of the accessories, charging cables, the Apple Pencil, my SD cards are in here. I have my little Sony uh, Link Bud S headphones, an anchor charger for my iPad and all of the other 
kind of things that need to get plugged into it. I use this anchor hub here. This has SD card slots, micro SD, an HDMI that I don't really use, but has power pass through and a couple of other USBs. So this comes with me everywhere so that I can continue to use my iPad. And I believe that's about it. So that gets zipped up. Slides right in the top, fits perfectly. And zip that up. So now I'm ready to go. So all of these links to all of these products are going to be in the description below. Thank you again to Brevity for sending out this bag. Again, you can go to brevity.com slash Aaron Ross to check out this bag if you're interested. And make sure and stay tuned because you know there's gonna be some photos and video coming from Mexico City. But until next time, I'm gonna go make something.